Good afternoon from the old city of Jerusalem. I'm standing on Tower of, Tower of David. If you were with me, you know that the three flags are symbolized uh, Tower of David. This is a tower that King Herod built. Hallelujah for that. And from here, you can see that I can say that's the best viewpoint of Jerusalem, but the only problem is that you have to climb all the way up. I, uh, there's no elevator. Then if it's difficult for you, don't do that. Instead of it, enter to the Christian Information Center, take the elevator, the lift, to the roof, and from there you will see absolutely a lovely um, uh, view. It's even cheaper than here. But I'm here than what we can see. Let's start with that. Far, far away behind those two white domes, it's the Judean Desert. In a good day, you can even see the mountains of Jordan. Oops, the mountains of Jordan. And right here, you can see Mount of Olives. In Mount of Olives, you can see the white area. This is the Jewish cemetery. The Jews believe when, that when the Messiah will come, they will resurrect it. Oh. Yes, the Christians believe me too. Look at that tower. This is the Ascension Church. And um, that's where Jesus ascended into heaven and promised us to come back. The Muslims believe in the same thing. Uh, God, Allah, will build a bridge between Mount of Olives and Jerusalem. Oh, but now it wasn't windy. I hope that you can hear me. And the good disciples will cross it safely. The tower that you see there, it's Augusta Victoria, which was, it's still actually a Lutheran church and hospital. Today, it's mainly a Palestinian hospital. The Mormon University, it's that white building with so many arches. And to the left of it, it's the Hebrew University of Mount's campus, which is part of Mount of Olives. And now we know about Mount of Olives. Let's talk about the old city of Jerusalem, which is not a big city. Um, for that, we need that lens. We have four different quarters. The Golden Dome, the Dome of the Rock, is a Muslim site. But let's go, let's say, around 2000 years before that. Beneath the Dome of the Rock, there is a stone. And that stone is the foundation stone. This is the first rock ever. The story of Abraham and Isaac is there. And we are talking about Abraham and Isaac. Oh, that's me. Um, I'm not in my best position today. S yesterday, someone hacked my YouTube channel. And I really hope that... Um, that something good will happen, then please pray for me. Uh, if not, I decided to have a new uh, YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe it. I just talked with someone from YouTube and he promised to help me uh, and um, I was crying. I was crying myself because I realized that it is my life. And more than that, uh, there are 80 videos of my late mother there that I took just before she died. Then for me, it's such an emotional thing. But let's go back to this. Um, then in that case, the foundation stone, the site of Abraham and Isaac. And I was talking by myself because although you know my name as Zahi, eh, Zahi, it's actually Isaac. Then in that case, my father Abraham almost sacrificed me on top of Mount Moriah, which is that stone. And later on, the, the God told the Jews to build his house, the Jewish temple, on top of it. Then in that case, the Holy of the Holy for the Jews is there. And according to the Muslims, that is where Muhammad descended into heaven. He came to Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is difficult for me to show you. I'm looking for it, the Dome of the Rock, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. There's a little bit to the right. Ah, here it is, that building. And from there, 
he ascended into heaven from there. Then in the seventh century, they built Al Aqsa Mosque, which is the far, far away mosque, and the Dome of the Rock. Then in that case, now you know about the Jewish temple and why that place is important for the Muslims as well. For the Muslims, it's only the third important place. Mecca and Medina, of course, are much more important. But for the Jews, this is the only important place. This is the house of God. Every Christian knows that the house of God is in every church, but not Jews. Jews believe that the house of God is their physically house. Synagogues are not, house, are not the house of God. Mm -hmm. Behind it, I forgot to mention, is uh, you can see Golden Onion Church. This is Maria Magdalena, Russian church, but beneath it, you cannot see it from here, from here. It's Garden of Gethsemane. That's where Jesus was betrayed by Judas. Then if we will continue, then around it is the Muslim quarter, which is the biggest one. Christian quarter is right here. What you can see on the most important thing for the Christians is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is, yeah, you can see the two domes. This is where Jesus was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected, according to the 80% of the Christians. And that is the Christian quarter. A few more churches, the Church of the Redeemer, Lutheran Church, you can see the beautiful tower, and the view from there is not bad at all. The Golden Onion, the gold, sorry, the Golden Dome is a very old church. Um, John the Baptist is, head, is buried there, then I, you can see the skull, not easy to enter to there. Uh, the red roof represents the Greek Orthodox Patriarch and the tower, San Salvador Tower, the, not the first one, the second one, represents the Catholic area. Inside the, the city there are a few neighborhoods. One belongs to the Copts, one belongs to the Greek Orthodox, one belongs to the Catholic. The Maronite are there, the Maronite are there, and I saw it. All right, it's just not so far away from here. Jewish Quarter is in front of you. You can see the two domes of, uh, um, of the Jewish Quarter. It's a replica. They rebuilt it, and, uh, and the Tiferet Israel, which is the left one, they are still building it. The Jewish Quarter been destroyed by the Jordanians in 1948, and in 1967, when you the Israel came to here, they excavate beneath it and find so many beautiful museums of priest houses, don't miss it, and they build those two um, uh, two temples. That, that was the Jewish quarter. And here you can see um, the Anglican church. Anglican Church today, the Messianic Church, this beautiful church. If you will enter to her as Christian, you will ask yourself what's happening there because almost everything is in Hebrew. They have an amazing coffee place, an excellent guest house. Then if you want something different, this is the place. And right there, you can see the um, pools of King Herod and the red roof building that now is used as a police station, used to be the palace of King Herod. Um, Armenian quarter is right here with the most beautiful St. James uh, church. And you can enter to that church if you're not Armenian every day at three, between 3 p.m. to 3.30. Behind it, the pyramid top. Armenian, now you can see it. It's not less than the Dormition Church, the House of Mary. Next to it is the Room of the Last Supper and the Tomb of King David and the House of the High Priest and the Tomb of Oscar Schindler from Schindler List. You got it. There are so many things to see in the city. Um, what else? Let's go to the other side. Um, YouTube just 
called me now and I started to cry again. I'm a crying baby. Uh, it is so important for me. It is so important for me. I think you know how important that channel is for me. This is my life. I started to do that a few years ago and I saw that it helps so many Christians, so many Jews and even Muslims that couldn't visit Jerusalem. It became to be a mission for me. The mission that I got from the Dalai Lama who told me to be a tour guide and to spread love all over and that's what I'm trying. Then if you are now cursing the one who hacked that my YouTube channel and Gmail, don't do that. I hope that he will understand that he made a mistake and if he wants he can actually call me. Then let's start with that. This is the archaeological part, a park of Tower of David and guys there are so many things that you can actually see here. They renew the museum. Today I can tell you that the museum of City of David is not le less than a must. Absolutely lovely. They just opened it, open it recently. Then a wedding is less important for us. But what we can see from here at the time of the Hashmonite, let's say the second century BC and the time of King Herod, the fortress was only like that. See the wall here? Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Small one. And then at the Crusader time they made it much bigger and um, but everyone who controlled the city controlled that place and i'm standing on a, on on a tower that king herod built but for example that part is from the ottoman time so talking about a mask that mask is from the ottoman time uh, turkish time and we can actually we soon soon about a few months from now I will be able to climb up to the roof. Yes! Another dream come true. Then there's evidence from so many here. Crusaders, uh, uh, Hashmonite, uh, uh, King Herod, the Muslims. Everyone used it. It's such a beautiful place. Bethlehem is behind that mountain. You see the two skyscraper there, the Nativity Church. And this is the west part of the city, including King David Hotel and if you look at that part for that we have to not think we can stand here no it's better to climb up to the roof uh, to the stage I think the view will be much better you will see Jaffa Gate because we are part of Jaffa Gate now all right I'm a little bit afraid of heights but what I'm gonna do everything for you And Jaffa Gate. Jaffa Gate is only from the 16th century, built by Suleiman the Magnificent, and you can see the ramparts. It's a beautiful area to travel. That Christian quarter, Muslim quarter, Jewish quarter, and Armenian quarter. Thank you very much. And now, because Google asked me to write everything that happened. I'm going to do that. And please pray for me. You know what? If you will see that video on my regular YouTube channel, then you know that I'm, star that I'm dancing. I'm dancing from happiness. Thank you very much for being with me. If you will see it via my new channel, then subscribe it and send it to everyone. Because... I need you. I love to answer your questions. I love to, I, I, I'm happy to know that I'm helping you. Then be as, I'm happy, what can I say? Oh, I'm trying to be happy. Thank you very much. Bye bye.